New York? I know it's a shock, but it feels like a good time for a change. We've been talking about it for the last few days. What? How is it that this is the first I've heard about it? Oh, we've been keeping it quiet mm. because up until now it's all been hypothetical. Paige had a trade out here putting up the sign, so we thought we'd get ours up to. Oh, well, without telling me. Well, I thought you and Kiri were happy. Well, we are, Mum, but, you know, she's moving back to Riverbend and we decided not to hold each other back. Obviously, you're very important to us, Jane. Oh, well, am I? <laughs> of course you are. We have a lot to figure out and we'll be coming back and forth a bit. I'm going to miss out on Isla growing up and birthdays and Christmases. No, you won't, Mum. You can visit us every school holidays. You can let on the first Byron and now you? Sometimes you've just got to be a bit spontaneous. Spontaneously following someone else's lead. <sighs> so you're packing already? Yeah, there's an awful lot to get through. Yeah, I can understand why David and Aaron are making the leap. Yeah, I think it'll be good for David. He needs a clean break. Except Nicolette comes as part of the package. Yeah. Oh, I've made my peace with her. I just want my family to be happy, you know? I wish you'd consider coming too. Hmm? Ah, uh, your finance raises stuff. Well, she left it for a while. It's bound to happen. Yeah. Have you done this to spite me? Oh, good morning to you too, Jane. Because of you, I am losing my daughter, my granddaughter. I think you brought this on yourself. You are a wrecking ball. Just, just destroying other people's lives. Jane, Jane, this is only happening because of what you told Shane. Otherwise, we'd be in partnership and nobody would be moving anywhere. You want somebody to blame? Go and look in the mirror. 